and today's video is a really exciting one because I'm going to be taking you guys along with me while I go to the salon and this isn't just any hair salon visit because I am doing a massive hair change. That's right, it's going to be a huge hair makeover and I am so excited! Now it's been quite a journey having this pink hair. I've had dark pink hair, I've had pastel pink hair, I've had a peachy pink hair, I've had purpley pink hair, I've had all the different shades of pink hair but now I think it's definitely time for a massive change. Now I know that you guys have really loved the pink hair and I've loved it too. It was definitely an experience having such a bright and bold and different hair colour. The thing is I'm so ready for a change. Having pink hair did come with the good and the bad and the good was that it was a really fun colour and when it was freshly done it was really bright and it was just a, such a beautiful color and I love pink you guys know that pink is my favorite color so when I would go into the salon to get my pink hair refreshed they would need to bleach my roots because naturally as you can see from the amount of regrowth I have that my natural hair is quite dark so they would need to bleach my roots to lighten it so that they could put the pink over the top so because it's had so much bleach on it, it is now so dry and so damaged, it feels like straw, it makes me so unhappy, and even if I just look at my hair, it just snaps off, and now it is just so uneven because of all the breakage, and I've got this whole part under my hair where it is just broken off, and you can see that that bit is just so, so blonde where the pink washes out every time I have a shower, and I'm just, I'm just over the pink, you guys. I'm just, I, I know you guys love it. And I'm really sorry that I'm changing it, but it's just got to a point now where I'm just so unhappy with it and I'm ready to put no more bleach on it. I'm ready to say bye bye to the bleach. So I am going to be coloring my hair a more natural color. I'm excited for it. I'm really hoping I love it. It is going to be such a massive change. I'm hoping that in a week's time I don't decide that I want blue hair. So hopefully I can stick with the natural color for a while, but I just, I know me and in a few months it's probably going to be back to such a bright color. But for now, I'm going to just give the bleach a break and I'm going to go back to a more natural color, which I'm really excited about. So if this is my first video that you're seeing, then hello, my name is Jillian. I'm so, so happy that you have found my channel and if you would like to see more videos from me in the future, then all you have to do is click that subscribe button. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and seeing the whole process of my massive hair transformation. Fingers crossed. It all goes well and it turns out really pretty and just how I want it to. I have no idea if it's going to go as planned, but I'm hoping, I'm sending positive vibes out into the world that it's going to go well. So I definitely think it's time that we head to the hair salon. The first thing I talked about with my amazing hairstylist is what color will we be coloring my hair? So I just showed her some inspiration pictures that I brought along with me and we'd already talked about going brunette so she already had a heads up so we just looked at the different shades. Here she's putting a filler color on my hair and she said this was because when we bleached my hair we took all the pigment out of it and we took all the red out of my hair so we needed to put the red pigment back into my hair so that when we dyed it brown it wouldn't go a green murky color which is not what I wanted. So she just applied the red color to my hair and then used a hair dryer to dry it and then she washed it out at the basin. Once that was all washed out, she dried my hair again and then began mixing up my color. So she first applied the color to all of my roots and then left this to sit for quite a few minutes. Hello, how'd you do? And then it was time to take the color through my ends as well just so that it would be all one color so she just took this through all of my ends and then we left this to process and then yeah you'll see my hair change color which is really really exciting pictures of sunny days with your smile and the power how could they say i was broken how could they say you made me come undone? Now I know that it's okay. I'm 
like my friends, you are nothing like them oh. How could they say I was broken? How could they say you made me come undone? Now I know that it's okay Unlike my friends, you are nothing like them Try to be cool so then it was time to wash out the colour, so we just went over to the basin and she washed out all the colour from my hair and it is so amazing, I can't believe I have a completely different hair colour. It was so strange seeing myself in the mirror for the first time with such a different hair colour but I loved it so much. So then we just dried off my hair and make sure you stick around because I'm actually about to head back to the hair salon because the next exciting part is coming so I will be talking to you again in a second. It already feels so much healthier. So that was the first salon visit in this hair makeover video and I'm actually going to go back to the salon because this hair isn't finished yet and there's still more to come. Oh my gosh, this top just keeps riding up. I definitely did not think this through. I feel like I moved my arms too much to wear tops like this. So I'm about to head back to the hair salon and I'm definitely taking you guys along with me this time as well because we are going to finish off on my massive hair makeover. So I'm going to be getting Tavian hair extensions and I'm really excited because I've never had any kind of hair extensions, not even clipping extensions. Now the reason why I'm getting tape in hair extensions is because I used to have quite long hair before I started bleaching my hair but since bleaching it it just keeps breaking off and my hair has just gotten shorter and shorter and shorter and I definitely miss the length. So while my hair gets healthier and regrows I'm going to be using tape in extensions just so I can get that length back and I'm really excited to play around with these new extensions and to see what different hairstyles I can do and it should be really fun. I'm hoping that I can look after them really well. So it's time to go back to the hair salon. I really hope you guys are enjoying this hair makeover video so far and yeah let's make this hair super long oh my gosh I'm so excited I really hope I love it <laughs> So here I am back at the salon and the first thing we decided to do was to put another colour on top of my hair just because it had faded in the time between my salon visits because I had washed it and we did think it was going to fade just because my hair is so coarse from being so bleached so it's really hard to hold on to colour. So here I am at the base and just getting another colour applied to make it darker. Hair. They're just brushing out my hair and they're going to dry it off so we can start cutting it. We decided to take a fair amount off of my length because my hair is so damaged and it's so uneven from all the breakage. We just decided to cut it off and I really didn't mind because I'm getting extensions. So here they are just cutting my hair and just thinning out the ends just so it blends better with my extensions. Stop the vlog, 
vlog this is where everything started to go wrong and I'm gonna tell you guys exactly what happened so when I got my hair dyed brown my hairstylist matched my new hair with the hair extension swatches that she had and she found that my hair matched perfectly with the shade black brown and I found that it matched perfectly too and so she sent off for six packets of 20 inch black brown hair extensions and ordered them into the salon. I started putting the extensions in my hair and with tape in extensions the way they put them in is they get one of the extensions and it's got a bit of tape at the top of it so they just peel a piece of paper off and then stick this to the hair and then they just lift the hair up and get another extension and repeat that process but stick it on the underneath part and then they just press it together. So that's how easy it is to put in these extensions and she was happily putting all these extensions in the back of my hair but because she did the back of my hair first I couldn't really see what was going on because I could only see what was happening in the mirror in front of me. So my hairstylist is attaching all these extensions to my hair and then the owner of the salon came over and he was like you need to dye her hair and I was like what? We've already coloured my hair and my mum's gone to me, the hair extensions are a complete completely different colour to your hair. So mum has shown me some of the footage that she's gotten off the back of my hair and I can see that my hair and the extensions are two different colours and it's so, so noticeable this like massive line of difference. So the hair extensions were supposed to match my hair perfectly and I had no idea what had gone wrong because they colour matched my hair to the extensions and it matched perfectly a few days ago but now it was a completely different colour. I was like sweating at this point, I was getting really anxious and I had no idea what was going on. I had no idea how they were going to fix it and I just didn't know what was going to happen. So then my hairstylist finished putting all the extensions in my hair and then she gave me a mirror so I could see what was going on in the back of my head and that's when I could really see the difference and I was I was a little upset because this was the first time I had ever had extensions. Extensions are not cheap either. These were quite expensive to get and I had such high hopes and I was so excited to see what they were going to look like. So then my hairstylist was matching the colour of the extensions so that she could colour the top part of my hair so at least that part would match. So they started putting the colour on the top part of my hair but the thing is because I already had the tape in extensions in, they couldn't get any colour on them or they couldn't get them wet so it was a really awkward application process. Process. So once the colour was washed out she just blow dried the top part and it does match a lot better but the thing is I didn't want hair this dark when I went into it. I was going for a medium chocolate brown and before the extensions went in and before they had to colour it again I really really loved the colour. It was this beautiful chocolate like medium color brown and I was so in love with it but now I have this super dark black brown colour and I'm not sure how I feel about it. I was quite I don't know, upset and disappointed when I left the salon. It, I didn't really know how I felt about it. I still don't know how I feel about it. Um, it is quite dark, especially against my pale skin tone. I'm actually fake tan at the moment, but I'm not fake tan and I have no makeup on. It is quite a harsh colour. So I'm not sure what's going to happen now. I'm hoping that I can maybe get a new set of hair extensions because these were just the wrong colour. I have no idea what went wrong. So I guess I should show you the extensions because I've had them tucked away at the back so I could do a big reveal. So here are the extensions. Here is my long, long hair. <laughs> I've never had hair this long before or had this much hair before so I'm learning how to style it. I'm not too happy with how it looked today. I feel like all my curls just dropped but I'm still learning and hopefully with more experience I will get really good at styling my new extensions. Does that look better? I think I prefer it all to one side. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> It is so different. I have so much hair. Oh my gosh. So please be kind. I know it's really dark and it's a major, major difference from the pink hair that I started off with. I am trying to get used to it and I really hope you guys don't totally hate it. Um, yeah, I'm definitely trying to get used to it and this is my new hair and I'm hoping I can work with it. But we'll see. This is what it is at the moment and I hope you guys somewhat like it. Um, yeah, so... So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I had so much fun taking you guys with me to the hair salon and showing you the whole process. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching. And if you haven't yet, don't forget to click that subscribe button for more videos. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all so much. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.